Hello, and welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad, where you learn to cook healthy, cook easy. My name is Karen Breyer, and today we are making delicious whole wheat raisin bread. This is my favorite bread. It is soft, nicely sweet, and delicious, and it's even healthy. The ingredients in this recipe are raisins, which I have soaking in water, soy or almond milk, instant yeast, grapeseed or canola oil, honey, vanilla, whole wheat flour, flaxseed, kosher salt, and cooking spray. The first thing that you need to do is soak your raisins. One and a half cups to two cups of raisins. Soak it in water for about 30 minutes. I've already, it's been soaking for about 30 minutes and I have two cups of raisins. So I'm gonna set this aside. Next, I'm gonna spray two four and a half inch by eight and a half inch loaf pans with cooking spray. Set these aside. Next, we need two cups of soy or almond milk. You could also use regular milk. I like soy milk because it's higher in protein and I think it makes a better bread. I'm going to microwave it for one minute to warm it. Okay, my milk is warmed. I'm going to pour it in a bowl. Now I'm going to add five teaspoons of instant yeast. Just sprinkle it around. You can stir it together a little bit if you want. We'll be back in about five minutes or until the yeast is foamy. So it's been about five minutes and you can see the yeast is bubbly and foamy. Next I'm going to add our oil. One quarter cup of grapeseed or canola oil and I have grapeseed oil. Now I'm going to add one third cup of honey. Okay, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm going to whisk these ingredients together. It smells good already. Now I'm going to drain the raisins. You can save the raisin water if you like for another recipe or smoothie. I'm just going to use my hand. Now I'm going to stir the raisins into our liquid mixture. And I'm going to set this aside. Now in a large bowl, I'm going to stir together the flour, the flaxseed, and the salt. So we have six cups of whole wheat flour. You can also use white whole wheat flour if you wish. I don't know if you've ever been measuring flour and then you forget how much you've measured, so I have a new way of doing it. Fail proof, I think. I'm going to put four cups in here, and I'll know I did four cups and dump it in, and then I'm going to do two more cups. Got one, two, three, four, and I know I'm at the right number because I got four there. Pour that in my bowl, and then I need two more cups. One, and two. When you measure flour, you should fluff your flour, put it by spoonfuls, so it's light but not too packed because if you have it really packed you're going to end up with the wrong amount of flour it's going to be too much use a spoon to pour it make sure it's fluffy when you start okay i'll set this aside next i have two tablespoons of whole flax seeds i already measured those and two teaspoons of kosher salt and you could use a different salt if you like now i'm going to stir these ingredients together Next, I'm going to slowly stir in our liquid ingredients. Okay, once you get it stirred together, you're going to knead it for about five minutes. You can do it by hand or electric mixer, and I'm going to use a mixer. I'm going to add my dough hook. If you decide to 
knead it by hand. Go ahead and put some flour on your surface and you can knead it by hand. So I'm going to turn the mixer on for about five minutes. Okay, the dough has finished kneading for about five minutes. We're going to take it out. We actually need to put it on a floured surface. So I'll just sprinkle a little flour, spread it around, take the dough hook out. There we go. So this seems a little sticky still, pretty sticky. I'm going to add a little more flour and just knead it in. You want it really soft but not sticky so it sticks to your hands. Seems good right now. So this is how you knead. You just kind of fold it and push it. Everybody has their own technique for kneading. Okay, now I'm going to form it into two loaves. You can cut it if you want or you can just break it with your hands. That's close to even. Now go ahead and form these into loaf sizes. I'm going to put them in a ball. Now I'm going to push them into loaf shapes. Okay, they're pretty good in loaf shapes. We're going to put them in the pans. I'm going to cover them with a damp towel and they're going to raise their, till they're about double in size. So notice how big they are now and we'll come back in about an hour or so. You can set them in a warm place. I might go put them on the oven. Before they're almost raised, go ahead and turn your oven on to 350 degrees to preheat it. So maybe, you know, 10 mi minutes before they're double in size. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, our dough has been raising for over an hour. It's about doubled in size. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven. I preheated the oven about 10 minutes ago. It's at 350 degrees. So we're going to bake our bread 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, we'll go put it in the oven next. Okay, our raisin bread is going in the oven. We'll come back in 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about 27 minutes. Let's check our bread. Mmm, it looks good. Nice and golden. All right, let's go check it out. Our whole wheat raisin bread is out of the oven. It's starting to cool. We're going to continue to cool it on a wire rack. And I'll be back in a while after it cools. We'll cut it and we'll try it. Okay, see you then. Okay, so our raisin bread has cooled a bit and I'm ready to try it. Let's try the large one. Try this one. You can put butter, vegan butter, peanut butter, almond butter, whatever you like on it. I'm gonna try regular butter. Okay, here we go. Mm. So delicious. This bread is so nice and soft, lightly sweet, delicious. You're going to love it. Try it and I'll see you in the next lesson. Mm. So good.